Hi, in this video we're looking at uh, roughly grade 3, grade 4 ratio questions for GCSE Maths. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions. Uh, if you need any help, always add a comment below, I'll come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at ratio questions. These are aimed at roughly about grade 3, grade 4 at GCSE level. Please do follow the link below in the description and you'll be able to download this particular worksheet. Also, it's useful to stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solutions. Okay, so let's have a look at the first block. So we're writing each of these ratios in their simplest form. Well, what we're basically looking for is for the biggest number number that will divide into 4 and into 6. So the largest number is going to be 2. It's called the highest common factor. So 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2 and 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. OK, let's have a look at B. So again, the largest number that will divide into both of them is going to be 3. So 3 into 15 is going to be 5 and 3 into 21 is going to be 7. OK, 72 to 45, well, slightly trickier. It's actually going to be 9. So that's going to be 8 to 5. 24 to 36, the biggest number is going to be 12. So that's going to become 2 to 3. This one. OK, just be a little bit careful with this one because you'll see that what they've done is they've given the first unit as grams and the second unit as kilograms. OK, so what we need to do is change that to 350 to 2000. OK, because there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. OK, so therefore we want to be able to change that to two thousand kilograms. Now, it's entirely up to you how you would actually do this, but you might use um, a calculator or a method or something like that of changing this and you should get seven to 40. OK, and the way I would do that, me personally, is I would write that as 350 over uh, 2000. OK, knock off the zeros, that's 35 over 200. And then the amount of fives that go into 35 is actually seven. And the amount of fives that go into 200 is actually 40. OK, so you've got to be a little bit careful with those. OK, next one then is 42p to £1.36. It's a similar sort of thing. You want 42 to 136 pence. And again, that will divide actually top and bottom by two. So that's going to be 21 to 68. OK, so hopefully that's OK for you. Let's move on then to question number two. And this is to make grey paint, uh, black and white are mixed in the ratio of five to three. How much black would be needed if? OK, so the way I would tend to do these is I would use this whole idea of working down the page. So I've got black, black to white is five to three. So if I was making eight litres of paint altogether, I would use five litres of black paint, three litres of white paint, and I would get eight litres of grey paint. OK, so let's have a look at the actual question. It says, how much black would be needed if I'm going to use six litres of white? Well, if it's six litres of white, I've basically doubled the three. So therefore, I've got to double the five and that's going to become 10. So I would need 10 litres of black paint. OK, and I'm going to use the same technique for the other two questions. So with white being 12 litres, what I've done is I've multiplied that three by four. So I'm going to multiply the five by four and that's going to give me 20. So that would be 20 litres of black. OK, apologies for my writing. OK, last one then is 21 litres of white. Well, again, if I make that 21, what I've done is I've multiplied the three by seven. So I'm going to multiply the five by seven and that's going to give me 35 so it'd be 35 litres of black paint and this whole technique of working down the page starting from your base numbers and then looking at the multiples will help you with pretty much most of the ratio questions okay 
Let's move on to a very similar question where we're making, in this particular case, salad dressing. Now I'm going to use exactly the same principle. I've got oil and I've got uh, vinegar and it's in the ratio of five to two. Okay, five to two milligrams of, uh, milliliters rather of oil and vinegar. Okay, so in this particular case now, I'm using 10 milliliters of vinegar. So if I make that 10, I've multiplied that by five, I'm gonna multiply the other side by five, and that's gonna give me 25. So it'd be 25 milliliters of olive oil. Okay, next one then is if I've got 30 milliliters of vinegar, so that's going to be 30, I've multiplied that by 15, so I multiply that by 15, so 5 times 15 is going to be 75, so that'd be 75 milliliters of, I'm just going to put oil if that's okay. All right, last one then is 42 milliliters of vinegar. Well, two times 21 is going to be 42. So five times 21 on this side, that's going to give me 105. So that's 105 milliliters of oil. Okay. So again, it's exactly the same principle. This whole idea of working down the page will make it much, much easier for you. Okay, let's have a look then at um, a more kind of, I guess, some more traditional sort of ratios question. These are non-calculator, by the way, so you do need to make sure that you check your calculations as you're working through these. Okay, so Sarah works as a waitress. Each week she splits her wage into spending money and savings in the ratio of seven to three. So let's have a look at the ratio itself. So this is going to be spending to saving and that's in the ratio of seven to three. So in other words, if Sarah earned 10 pounds, then three pounds of it she would save and seven pounds of it she would actually spend. Okay, now in this particular week, she earns 130 pounds. So in other words, she's earned 13 times more than her base number of 10. OK, so 13 times more. All we do is we multiply each of these by 13 as well. So she's going to save 39 pounds and seven times 13. She's going to spend 91 pounds. OK, so how much should she put into her savings? Well, she should put 39 pounds into her savings. OK, let's have a look then at part B. OK, here's B. And that's going to be again, I'm going to use the, the whole idea. I always would try to encourage you always to write from first principles, whether it's a, a formula or in this particular case, a ratio. I would actually copy again what you've written before. It just makes your working more intuitive, easy to follow. OK, so. The next week, Sarah puts £42 into her savings. How much did she earn in total that week? Well, if she put £42 into her savings, it's 14 times more than her base number. So I'm going to multiply the 7 by 14. That's going to give me 98. So how much did she earn in total that week is going to be 98 plus 42. So that's going to be £140 that she earned in total that week. OK, hopefully that's OK for you. Let's have a look at number five. Now, I guess arguably number five is going to be a calculator type um, question because the numbers are a little bit bigger. But, you know, you might find this cropping up in a non-calculator. I'm not entirely sure, but, you know, it's it's one of those. It gives you good arithmetic practice. OK, so we've got men to women and it's in the ratio 11 to four. And again, that's our base Baseline. So if 15 people went to the football match, 11 of them would be men and four of them would be women. OK, but in this particular case, we've got 2000 women. OK, so if it's 2000, what we're saying is, is that that's basically 500 times bigger than four. OK, so therefore we multiply the other side by 500 and we're going to get five, five, 
zero zero so in this particular case it'd be five thousand five hundred men okay let's have a look at the next bit then eight thousand six hundred and forty women well i guess as i mentioned arguably this is where a calculator would come in but you could work out just using short division that this is multiplied by 2115 so then we've got to do 11 times 2115 it seems like a big number but it is calculable okay and that's going to give you 23,265. So in this particular case, 23,265 men at this particular match. Okay, hopefully that's okay for you. Let's move on then to the final little bit of this particular uh, video, which is going to be dividing some money in ratios. Well, a little bit easier, I think, um, in fact, to actually work through. If you use the same idea, it's two to three. So in other words, if it was five pounds, then somebody would have two pounds and somebody else would have three pounds. But in this particular case, it's not five pounds. It's actually 75 pounds. In other words, it's 15 times bigger. So again, I'm going to multiply both of those by 15. And I'm going to get 30 to 45. So this would be 30 pounds to 45 pounds. OK. Hopefully that's all right. And again, I'm going to use exactly the same idea with number seven, which is dividing the ratio two to five to eight, two to five to eight. OK, so if it was 15 pounds, somebody would get two pounds, somebody would get five pounds and somebody else would get eight pounds if it was 15 pounds. But it's not 15, it's 255 pounds. In other words, it's 17 times bigger. OK, now I do understand that, you know, you might do these calculations slightly differently to me. I'm trying to avoid showing you a calculation method because people will use different calculations. But hopefully you'll get the same uh, answer that it's 17 times bigger. So I'm going to multiply each of these by 17. So that's going to be 34, 285 to 136. So it's going to be 34. 285 to 136. And that would be the answer to that particular question. OK, I hope this video has been useful. If you're not sure about anything, please do add a comment below. Uh, this is up to question number seven. And I'm going to uh, do questions number eight, nine, uh, eight and nine and ten, I think. Yep, eight, nine and ten in the next video. So please do uh, add a comment if you're not sure about anything. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.